If you want to know how to create great looking Instagram carousel graphics that help your feed look great and help you get more followers, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Whiffin and if you're new around here, I'm a digital marketer living and working in London. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through this, which is my Photoshop template that I use and I've been using for the past few months now to grow my own Instagram account. Um, it's over 20,000 followers and I'm going to take you through this template and then I'm also going to show you how to create your own Instagram carousel graphics. Uh, I'm gonna leave the timestamps right here and also in the description below. You can click that if you wanna jump ahead just to the tutorial. Um, but right now I'm going to take you through my Photoshop template. So just before we jump into the Photoshop template, I want to show you my, my Instagram account. Um, this here is Easy Thoughts. I have been posting for 122 days now. We've just gone over 21,000 followers. But essentially the posts are uh, a carousel image like this, which is sort of how I use this for um, each of these, when you scroll down, it kind of gives you a little bit of a sneak peek as to what the quote is about. And then once you click on one, you then can swipe right and you get taken through to the quote. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you in the tutorial, how to create it. Um, but a few people wanted to know after my last video where I explained how I reached 15,000 followers in 90 days. Um, I'll also leave that in the description below if you wanna go ahead and watch that. I give a lot of tips and tricks um, on sort of the things that not a lot of people are doing that I've been using to help grow this account at such quick pace. Um, so that will be listed in the description. But essentially, I have a Photoshop template like this. And if I close this down here, you'll see that we have uh, three folders um, and each one is for the month. So this one here is July. And once opened, I have a folder for each of the days. So I have 13 in this folder. And if I just turn these on and off, you'll be able to sort of see how each one has its own individual style based upon Kanye West's albums. So this one right here is um, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. This is based off of this album artwork right here. Um, you know, it has like this, this red with a little frame around it. And I use that here inside of this. I'm gonna break this down for you. So underneath July 1st, 2020, I have two separate folders. Each one represents each of the carousel graphics. So we have the subject, which is essentially Kanye in this case, and this is the main image. And then we also have the quote um, folder there as well for the quote image. And essentially what I'll have is a like a frame, as you can see right here. Um, so if I turn that off, I'm gonna break this down for you. I then have the arrow and this arrow is this right here. And so I have a couple of effects on here and I'll show you a little bit on um, in the tutorial how I do this, but I essentially have an effect on this so that when there's certain images like this one where the black merges with the photo and you can't see it, I have this color overlay so that it can be turned on and can actually make it white or any other color that I would like. Um, you know, I can show you right now. We can make it red if we wanted to and you can see it makes it red. And so that there is what I do uh, with the arrow just to help make that stand out and to remind people that it is a carousel graphic and that they should swipe right to see that second image. I don't necessarily want people to just think that that is the post, Kanye on his creative process. That means nothing to anyone really. It's only once you get to the second image in the carousel series where you see the quote that the post actually has value. And that's gonna be the thing that gets people to like uh, the Instagram post. So if I turn that off, that's the arrow. Then we have the text itself, which I change. And then I have a shadow here, which you can't really see. I'll show you how to make this shadow. Um, and that's just to help make that text pop a little bit more off the screen. And then finally, I have the, uh, the image itself of Kanye. So that there is how I create an, uh, sort of a, the subject image. And then it's a very similar thing here in the quotes. So I have all of the text broken down here underneath uh, just a, a solid um, color, this being the, the red from that album. And all of this is just broken down into the daily quote, the date, the actual quote itself, and then this one right here, which is saying, it was said by Kanye West, and I say Yeezy Thoughts, so that if anyone is to try and steal this carousel or post it to their own feed, um, it's sort of like a way of having a bit of a copyright. It's just a way of sort of saying like Yeezy Thoughts is the original creator of this graphic. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I create these kind of graphics in Photoshop in the tutorial. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to head up to File and click New, and you're gonna be greeted with this right here. I recommend that you go with 1000 by 1000 pixels. The reason I have such a you know, large canvas size is because I want people to see whatever graphics that I'm creating, whatever carousel graphics I'm creating as high quality. Some people will obviously see it on their mobile while it's smaller and it's going to look sharp, it's gonna look crisp and clean, but some people do browse Instagram like this on a web browser. And I also think if people zoom in, I still want that to be a high quality. I don't want it to lose and look a bit pixelated or jpeg -y and just doesn't look very good. So I always go with 1000 by 1000. That's a very, very uh, large size for a square. And I have the resolution at 72. So once I click create, you'll be given this blank canvas. Now, the first thing I always do is I come over here to this padlock and just uncheck it so that we can now actually do stuff with this layer. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my color over here and I'm going to be using the same red that was in the previous example that I showed you from Kanye West's album, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you a couple of um, keyboard shortcuts in this tutorial that I use that helps me speed up this process to the point where I can then make uh, one of these graphics in 30 seconds to 60 seconds. So it gets really quick and that way I'm able to create so many carousel graphics that I can just post them up to my account really quickly, keep the content consistent at a daily basis. And I really think that's what's helped me to, to grow. And obviously you don't want to make producing posts be difficult and time consuming because then you're not gonna create that many. So I'm gonna show you a quick way of how to do this. Um, if we go ahead and we use, click the option, shift and the backspace, you'll see that we essentially fill this, um, this layer with that red that's here. And if you have this back color, you can actually do command shift and backspace and that will actually fill that back color. So those are two really good keyboard shortcuts that you can use um, and it works across the board. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click the T on your keyboard or you can come over here and click this. And that's essentially going to uh, give you the text tool. So we can click right here and we can type in something that we want. For the daily quote graphics that I use, I'm going to put in daily quote and then do command and A to select all. And then you can just come up here and change that to whatever color that you'd like. Now, one of my favorite things, a tip that I use across the board, whether it's creating graphics for Instagram or anything within Photoshop, is this quick shortcut that will change your life, it will speed up so much within sort of your, your workflow. Um, you know, a lot of people will drag the quote over like this, their text, and they'll try and find the middle. And you know, when you've got very complicated shapes, that can be quite difficult. What I like to do is I like to click Command and A, which I think is Control, if you're watching this and you're a PC user. Um, and what that will do is it will highlight these six little icons up here. And essentially what these do is it will snap your text to a certain part of the canvas. Um, I rarely use these ones because um, it's, it's rare that I need to pop text in the bottom corner, but I always use these middle ones. and I do it all the time. And that there has just centered that daily quote text for us. Um, and I, you know, I use this one primarily because I like to sense things. I think it makes graphics look so much more better. So to get rid of these little ants, walking ants that are going around the outside and allow us to actually edit it, um, we're going to go ahead and click Command and D, which is Control and D if you're on a PC. And I always recommend holding the Shift. So this allows you to go up and down with your text without it moving from that axis. So I'm gonna place this around here. Another keyboard shortcut that I use all the time in Photoshop is Command and J. And as you can see over here, it's made a duplicate of the exact text that we have. So, you know, you can drag this down or you can click the, the sort of the, the left and right keys right here, or you can do what I do, which is hold shift and just drag that down just to keep it inside of that axis. Now, if we go ahead, we can type in whatever we want. I'm going to say, July 1st, 2020. Now, obviously this is very, very large. 
Um, there are, again, a couple of ways that you can do this. You can highlight your text and adjust it up here like so. Or you can do what I like to do, which is Command and T. That means transform. And what that will do is it will essentially give us this box in which we can go ahead and drag this to whatever size that we like. Um, you can also kind of do these really stretchy things if you hold down Command. Um, and this is kind of like a similar thing that you can do in stuff like After Effects. If you want, you can actually like animate things to make it look like it's rocking, um, kind of like a shop sign or to give it like a bit of this edge. This is kind of useful if you have something um, like a font where uh, that doesn't have italics, you can actually kind of make it yourself. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and shrink this down to, I'm going to say maybe about that size. And I'm just going to shrink that up like that. Again, similar thing, Command and J, just drag that down. And I will then go ahead and put in my quotation marks, paste in my quote. And then I will look for where the full stop is and I will just start to adjust this to try and fit everything in. If I think that it's going to be too big, again, I will just come in here and adjust this. So from 61, we're going to 50. I think that a 45 will do. So then what I'll do is I'll just play around with all of this until I find a mixture of both where it looks good. So then you can go ahead and do control T and you can again, you can adjust this however you'd like. Um, we could just do it like that. Again, command and J, bring it down, type in whatever it is that you'd like. So in this case, it's going to be Kanye West and then the Instagram page, Easy Thoughts. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because it's less relevant. And then once you've got everything like this, what you can go ahead and do is you can still go ahead and just center everything because not all of the text will be the exact same because you've changed it. So I'll make sure that everything is still centered. And what I'll do is I'll then go in and say like the, the font like this, I'll drag it down with the shift key until I get something like this, which is essentially uh, making sure that it's an equidistance between both sets of the text there. So it's centered. You can then go ahead and do Command and G, and that's going to group your entire text. We can call this text. And then again, Command and A, and you can then just go ahead and make sure that everything is centered with those options. And then boom, you've got yourself your own quote page. So that's how I do it. Um, I really hope that those keyboard shortcuts have helped you. Um, you know, they're ones that once you've learned, you kind of don't forget and they work across the board um, in so many different programs by Adobe as well. Illustrator is another good example. Um, and essentially, once you've done this, you can then go ahead and group that up and use that as like a quote. And then that itself is now essentially your template. So you could just do Command and J and then you can have that for a different day. And then you can change that to something like... Uh, July 2nd, 2020, and then you can change the quote, uh, maybe change the background color, and then all of a sudden you can see that you build it up. And that's essentially what I've done with all of this. And you know, each one of these is its own, um, its own folder that's all broken down. And that's just really how I've built up my template to last like that. I hope this video was useful. Um, I, if, again, if you really want to learn how to grow your Instagram, page right now. I've been doing a lot of different things, uh, a couple of tips and tricks in this video that I explain um, because no one else seems to be doing that. And I think that's what's allowed me to grow this page so quick. Um, like I said before, I got 15,000 followers in 90 days. So it's really, really fast. If you want to see that video, I'll leave it right here in this um, sort of end screen, or you can click the link in the description below. Um, and hopefully I'll see you all in that video right now. Thanks for watching.